Hi there! In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the UNI-T UT139C multimeter. We've made a review of this meter before, however, we found a reason to make one more video about this model. The reason being that this meter has a capacitance measuring range of 100 millifarads. Meanwhile, other multimeters of its class are capable of measuring capacitance up to 100 with a maximum of up to 200 microfarads. Our customers started asking us about the possible mistake in the product specifications because they could not believe that a meter with this price would be able to measure a capacitance of up to 100 millifarads. In all actuality, it is able to do that, and we will demonstrate that right now. Here we have a multimeter and several capacitors with different capacitance. I'll be using these Axiomet probes as they are more convenient for these kinds of measurements than standard ones. Here I'll turn on the meter and switch to the capacitance measurement function. Let's start with the smallest one. Its capacitance should be 3.3 nanofarads. The probes have some parasitic capacitance that may affect the measurement results with small capacitors. That's why I'm turning on the relative measurement mode. Two point nine nanofarads. Not bad. Next, we have a one hundred microfarad capacitor. Here we have this value. Good. We have one more larger capacitor with 10 millifarads capacity. It gives us the measurement pretty quickly, and more importantly, accurately, 10.3 millifarads. And the biggest one we have here, a 33 millifarads capacitor. Let's see. Thirty five point four millifarads. One thing I would like to bring to your attention is the measuring rate. Because we have a lot of capacitance here, and it took the meter only about 10 seconds to measure it. That's really good. Let's do one more test. We'll connect a 10 millifarads capacitor in parallel, and we should get a total of 45 to 46 millifarads. Awesome! You can try this out yourself and see how fast it is. As you can see, the UNI-T UT139C multimeter has no problems with capacitance measurements in both nanofarads, well up into the range of a few dozen millifarads. None of the competition has this feature. Make sure to watch more videos, subscribe to our channel, and have a great day!